guys, welcome back to our channel and today we thought we'd talk about something that we've kind of learned along the way of our journey with mental health and that is well, in eating disorders, yeah, and that is you don't have to look like you have an eating disorder to have one. Mm. But I think that's the same with any mental illness, really. Even yeah. though we're just talking about good point eating disorders, yeah, it's it could go with like anxiety, depression. Like you don't have to be like a shivering wreck mm. in the corner mm. to suffer from something yeah. like that. It's something that's internal and it doesn't always display like physical symptoms. So. Yeah, I think with. Eating disorders, it's a bit more. I I would I used to find it more shocking. I suppose, but they don't look like they have an eating disorder. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I suppose they yeah. don't look underweight, or mm -hmm. they don't look overweight, mm -hmm. or they don't. But saying something like that, we've learned now, is completely hypocritical yeah. to to it being a mental illness. Yeah. Like yeah. The whole point is, is that you can't see. It's a mental illness. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. like unless you're. Peeking in some, inside someone's head. You Where it's here or in there, it. mate. No. <laughs> <laughs> so Just a wind. It, I think it's primarily with like eating disorders such as bulimia, mm. where it's always the most shocking. Like there are some people who suffer from bulimia who are underweight, mm. like don't get me wrong, mm. but uh, most bulimia sufferers are at a normal mm, weight or slightly overweight or you know, and it is. Even like with Sam's when she suffered anorexia, she was having the anorexia thoughts way before she lost all the weight. Yeah. Like... And I had them up when I when I mm, put on the weight as mm. well. Because they still hadn't gone, but mm. I was still fighting it kind of mm. thing. So when people point. would say, oh, Sam looks so much better now. And it's like, yeah. well, in her head... <laughs> like, yeah, she looks better, but yeah. in her head, was the mental illness any better? Yeah. Maybe not. And uh, we knew someone that had just come out of... Um, uh, we, place. Yeah, we knew someone that had just come out of a, a unit, like a yeah. mental health unit, mm. and they looked fine, like, you know, they were perfect weight, looked looked quite healthy as well, yeah. and um, we would go out for lunch with them, and they would not be able to have, like, an actual meal, they would have mm. to have a cake, or a donut, or a biscuit, just because mm. that was what was programmed into their head through the through the uh, unit was just mm. to eat loads of junk food, but that's another story. But because she looked well, yeah, it was like it was it's quite like, shocking when you go out and yeah. their eating is so dis dis mm. disordered mm. that you it's it's not until you like experience all these little things yeah. that you realise that oh god yeah just because she's been in somewhere and she's come out with weight on yeah that doesn't mean yeah. that they that they don't have an eating disorder anymore. Like, an eating disorder can be anything to do with disordered eating. And it's even a bit like with people who might be slightly overweight. Mm. You think, oh, they just like their food or, you know, they just enjoy their food a bit too much. But there are a lot of people out there who have an eating disorder like binge eating or emotional mm. overeating where, you know, they, it's almost the opposite of anorexia where they eat because it makes them feel good about themselves, only temporarily, but that is a serious serious eating disorder and a serious mm. mental illness mm. and even you know it's hard it becomes an addiction doesn't it we've never yeah. been close to that mm. but we've studied it a lot and looked mm. into it a lot and it, it becomes an addiction mm. and like a coping method so we just feel like it's really important um and this kind of comes down to like the education and knowledge mm. kind of thing mm. that people are kind of just open and aware that just from it's like you can't judge a book by its cover mm. like you can't just like look at someone and think that you know them or know what yeah. they're going through everyone mm. has a journey mm. and just because they don't look ill or look like they're struggling with something it doesn't mean mm. that they're not so that's it for today that we just wanted to share our point of view and if you guys have any we'd love to hear about them and discuss them with you we will see you in the next video bye Thanks. bye